Hey, how are you? My name is Tammy Marshall, and I'm the director of the Emotional Healing Institute and the creator of the Unemotional Eater program. And I just quickly wanted to talk about affirmations and self-esteem and self-love. And I know I hate this topic, too, but I just wanted to share one of these um, little tools with you. You know, this, the truth is that, you know, anytime I, you know, I work in the field of addiction, I've dealt with emotional eating for most of my life. And the, um, the, the reality is that when we don't love ourselves, then we're filling that void with something. And, you know, it can be drugs, alcohol, food, sex, money, whatever. Um, we are just filling that that hole in our soul. And then the other thing that happens with emotional eaters is then there's weight. And that's not always true, right? But a lot of times what I see is the weight is attached. And I call that bubble wrap for the soul because it's almost there when you look at the fight flight or freeze it's almost there to make yourself look bigger as a protection and so a lot of times that's what i see the weight is actually there for and so when we start dealing with the heart then the weight has permission to begin to actually go and so i found so you know this friend of mine just casually made this affirmation statement one day and I turned it into a non-traditional tapping for myself and I do this normally in the bathroom in front of the mirror because there's something about looking at yourself you know we stop doing that along the way and so there's something about looking in the mirror and just saying these statements and so I'll just ask you to follow along and just you know tell me how it feels you know leave leave me some you know notes down below and just some feedback about what happened for you when you did this and so so we're just tapping through the points this is non-traditional and so you know no matter what I weigh or don't weigh today I deeply and completely love and accept myself no matter what I eat or don't eat today, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. No matter what size my waist is or isn't today, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. No matter what my stomach looks like today, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. No matter what my thighs do or don't look like today, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And just tapping through the points, thinking about those things that you're just holding yourself, you know, that you're just beating yourself up for. Like, you know, I don't just do weight or food in there. I also do, you know, no matter how clean or not clean my house is or no matter how, you know, what is or isn't um, in, in the, you know, in my savings account. You know, whatever those that burbage needs to be for you. But the reality is the more we beat ourselves up about things, then we just make it that much harder to climb out. You know, the truth is you and I both have beat ourselves up unmercifully about our bodies, about what we weigh, about what we've eaten. And and it's not worked. It's just not worked. And so, you know. I've worked for people in my life that, you know, affirmed me and pulled out the good in me. And I've worked for people who just browbeat me. And I'll tell you that I will bend over backwards for the people who affirm and support and believe in me. And, you know, they instead of, and it's not, you know, we've all been in those places, you know, we all do things wrong, but yet they always chose to look at the good things in me rather than the bad and, or the mistakes. I, I don't even like the word bad, but, or the mistakes that we made or the things that we don't know yet. And so the same is true for you. If you begin to focus on the things that you're doing right for your body and that languaging just helps you to kind of go, I mean, literally your body will go, ah. Because it's like, no matter what you do or don't do, I love you. And, and this almost becomes a reconnaissance mission of sorts where, um, or, you know, a, a, um, I can't think of what the word is, but, you know, it's almost like there's a soldier been left behind and we're going in no matter at what cost to go get you out. Um, and, and so, you know, this is really about you loving you so that you can receive the love of God and out of that outpouring, you're able to love other people. And so I just made this decision that I was just going to love me no matter what, no matter what it took to find the solution, to get my body in shape, to be healthy. I was just going to love me because all that brow beating didn't work. So play with that little affirmation. Leave your comments below and we'll talk again tomorrow. Blessings.